Welcome to this preview of the full-length expose Jed Smock delivered apostasy where it's revealed by the words of his own mouth how he has been promoting the greatest and most destructive heretics of the past several decades and including Billy Graham uh, arguably the worst Protestant heretic in this nation's history as he from the early days of his ministry was in full cooperation with the Catholic Church and suggested that the scriptures that mention hell fire are just illustrative just illustrations and not really hell fire that there's no real hell fire endorsed Islam saying Muslims Buddhists non-believers are actually a part of the body of Christ and going to be in heaven just to mention a few of his heretical practices and Jed Smock says and claims that uh, Billy had these whippersnappers or people condemning him for directing those who made a decision in his crusades to return to their church even if it was Catholic that was true Billy Graham again in his full partnership with the Catholic Church from the early days would send them back to this Babylonian satanic idolatry encouraging them to remain Catholic to be led astray to hell with the error of the wicked and as he does with so many heretics Jed Smock endorses him after his death saying he would expect to see Billy in heaven so just another example of the corrupting influence of Jed Smock he is there on the campuses preaching to make a mockery and help to discredit the whole uh, practice of open-air preaching and those who do so and that is why hashtag reject Jed he needs to be exposed and it's important we're commanded to warn our neighbors of the danger of these individuals and the like and the scriptural outline is coming up other videos in more detail linked in the description at the end of the video the Bible says they that forsake the law praise the wicked but such as keep the law contend with them Jesus of course informed us that all the law and the prophets hang on these two commands love the Lord thy God with all your heart soul mind and strength and your neighbor as yourself of course Jed is in direct rebellion to both of those forsaking the law no fear of God imagine the most satanic worldly worship performed in front of everybody that the Pope carries out in the Roman Catholic Church incense to the Queen of Heaven Joel Osteen of course subject to this video um, <clears throat> never concerned with how blasphemous this is to God some of the most abominable things there are and Jed Smock supposedly a preacher of righteousness calls this Christian so if you promote heretics and you promote heresy religious systems the Bible principle shows us your response to evil reveals whether or not you yourself are evil second Peter 2 1 through 3 tells us that the false teachers who have brought in damnable heresies are going to bring upon themselves swift destruction they will have swift destruction they will have judgment from God and damnation Titus 3, 10, 11, a man that is an heretic after the first and second admonition reject, knowing that he that is such subverted and sinneth being condemned of himself. Galatians 1, 9, as we said before, so say I now again, if any man preach another any other gospel unto you than that you have received, let him be accursed. And Paul expressed his concern that as the serpent beguiled Eve, in the Garden of Eden through his subtlety that there would be some that would come and preach another Jesus to the Corinthians and that they might not know better 
and they might well bear with him, he said. See that their, their minds should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. He was expressing his concern. That's why we need to warn our neighbors. If somebody is preaching another Jesus, we don't want these people to be led astray and be beguiled like Satan does. So we need to warn. John fifteen nineteen. If you were of the world, the world would love his own. But because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. See, the love terminology here is the, from the Greek phileo. It means to be friendly with, to be fond of, to delight in. Well, these wicked, damnable heresies brought in by these wicked heretics, these people, Jed Smock is friendly with. He befriends them instead of rebuking them. Proverbs 17, 15, He that justifieth the wicked and he that condemneth the just, even they both are abomination to the Lord. Jed Smock's not a Christian at all, let alone a preacher of righteousness. He's abomination to God. He justifies the wicked. It's plain. Isaiah 5.20, Woe to them that call evil good and good evil. Put darkness for light and light for darkness. Put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Psalm 101.3, I will set no wicked thing before mine eyes. I hate the work of them that turn aside. It shall not cleave to me. If you're a man of God, you would hate these wicked abominations. You would hate the works of them that turn aside. Psalm 119.53, Horror hath taken hold upon me because of the wicked that forsake thy law. Proverbs 8.13, the fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride and arrogancy, and the evil way and the forward mouth do I hate. Summary, a child of God fears God, hates evil, walks in obedience to him, and will therefore reject heretics, recognizing anyone promoting doctrine contrary to the gospel is accursed, will not approve of those of the world, and will hate their work. Conversely, a child of the devil justifies and speaks well of the wicked, does not hate their evil works, and therefore does not fear God, approves of those of the world, thereby making themselves friends of the world and enemies of God. Case closed. Reject Jed.